Games Workshop versus 3D printing. I get asked quite a lot which one should people go with? Should they go with Games Workshop or should they go with 3D printing and jump into that? And if you are currently toying with that dilemma or that decision, hopefully in this video I'll be able to at least give you some pointers as to which one maybe you should lean towards and I guess the pros and cons of each of them. Now, I'm going to start off by saying that I do both. So I tend to do mostly 3D printing, but I do pick up some things from Games Workshop. Also, it's not necessarily just Games Workshop versus 3D printing. If you're in the market for physical minis, there's a wealth of different minis out there. And there's so many different creators that you can buy a lot of these crazy, imaginative and impressive miniatures from. So, you know what, it's always worthwhile exploring. But for the point of this video, we'll be using Games Workshop just because see, they kind of are the biggest tabletop miniatures gaming thing in the world. So, it's an easy point of comparison. Let's kick it off with one of the all important ones and that is price. Now the upfront cost is obviously going to be so much higher for 3D printing. There's so many things that you need to consider buying when you start off on that 3D printing journey. There's of course the 3D printer, then there's all the bits that you need with it. Things like your resin, all of your safety gear like your gloves, your goggles and everything like that. You're probably going to need some kind of cleanup thing as well ideally. It just keeps things so much simpler so you've got to take that into consideration. And then of course you're going to need the STLs. Now you can get a lot of STLs for free. If you're not too sure what an STL is, basically it's the file that allows you to print off the different models. But you're also probably going to want some of the more premium ones that just offer a little bit more. So all in all, that upfront cost is relatively large when you're coming into the 3D printing market. There are cheaper, more budget 3D printers, there's a lot more expensive ones, so it's kind of a how long is a piece of string situation, but in my opinion, it is going to cost more to get started with 3D printing. In the long run, however, people tend to talk about the fact that it gets so much cheaper when you're using a 3D printer, especially if you are printing off a lot of stuff, and part of that is true. I've done a lot of videos where we talk about things like how many models can you print off with just like one bottle of resin and on paper it always comes out much much cheaper than buying those sort of models from Games Workshop. So yes, long run does skew in favour of 3D printers, but there's also other things to consider. It's really addictive, so it depends on your personality. For me, I sign up to loads of different Patreons because I just like the look of their models. I end up buying loads of STLs, so I don't know if I would actually be saving anything in the long run. You've also then got your consumables that come with a 3D printer, like your resin, like your replacement FEP and your replacement USBs, because apparently they die for me all the time. So again, it's worthwhile considering. It does work out, in my opinion anyway, it works out cheaper in the long run to have a 3D printer. So if you are going to be printing off a lot and you're going to be mixing matching a lot of things, it probably will save you money in the long run. Moving on to the next bit and that is the quality of the models themselves. Now this is going to vary massively depending on your 3D printers, but some of the more budget 3D printers have gotten crazy good when it comes to the quality they print off. There's no real clear winner when it comes to this one because you can get some really, really good 3D printed models versus something like your Games Workshop ones. But it's hard to argue that Games Workshop look bad depending on your taste, obviously that may vary. But the actual quality that you get on those miniatures always looks good. They're very well defined there's really good amounts of details on there it's easy to tell what you need to be printing and stuff like that so that's one of the big pros of those 3d printing you don't get mold lines because ultimately they're not kind of coming out of a mold which kind of makes sense so that's a nice big win and i was surprised recently when i was trying some more games workshop stuff how pronounced those mold lines were and i wasn't a massive fan of it so that's one big win for 3d printing however with your 3d printed models even if you get that incredibly great quality you're still probably going to see some layer lines on there and even on something like my mars 3 i still see those layer lines now they're far less noticeable once you get a primer onto it and once you get some paint onto it so it's not too much of an issue but it is worthwhile bearing in mind if you've got any like flat surfaces or, or some rounded surfaces especially you can start to see some of those layer lines and a lot of the time when I'm doing close-up photography of my models they do show up versus something like Games Workshop. However quality wise you can achieve some incredible quality prints when it comes to 3D printing and I've got to say most people I show off my 3D printed models to in comparison to something like Games Workshop they can't really tell the difference unless they really really look for it. Next is the convenience of it. With a 3D printer, if I find a model that I want, I can normally print off like a regiment or some models off just within like three, four hours, sometimes faster depending on the size of them. I can literally just download them, put them into my slicer, slap them onto my printer, and they're pretty much ready to go. It's that convenient and easy to do. I don't need to jump in the car and drive down to a games workshop. I don't need to order something online. So that, in terms of convenience, is a massive win. Putting 3D printed models together is in infinitely easier 
than Games Workshop. I'm going to say that straight off the bat. I recently got a starter set of some of the Games Workshop stuff, some of the like Sigmarines. I, I, I need like a rocket science degree or something like that to put them together. The instructions are absolutely abysmal and there's just so many fiddly little pieces. It was driving me absolutely up the wall. With 3D printed models, a lot of the time they will come off in one complete thing. So all you need to do is snap them off the supports and you're pretty much good to go. So when it comes to that and assembling them, in my opinion at least, and in my experience, 3D printed is so much more convenient. However, on the flip side of that, with Games Workshop, you don't necessarily need to have a potentially vat of harmful cleaning materials. With 3D printing, you've got to have all your different safety consumables, like your gloves, ideally your goggles. You're probably going to have some kind of alcohol for cleaning them up. You've then got to clean them. You've got to get them off the supports, which can then also bring its issues as well, including breakages and snappages. I don't know if snappages is a word, but it is now. And then you've got to go through the curing process. It's not a convenient process at all. And if you are going down the 3D printed rabbit hole, I would definitely suggest get some kind of wash and cure machine because before I had that, I hated 3D printing because it was so tedious and so annoying and I could never get particularly good prints because my cleaning process was awful until I got a wash and cure machine. With Games Workshop, you literally get your stuff, you assemble it, you add some primer on and you're ready to go. It's really easy and convenient, apart from trying to actually assemble them, which drives you mad in the process. But you don't need to have loads of potentially harmful chemicals, so that's just, you know, a big win for Games Workshop. Moving on to the next one, and I guess this is dependent more on your friends group and where you live, but people to play with. With Games Workshop, Warhammer, uh, Warhammer 40k, and basically all of their game systems, or most of their game systems, are incredibly popular. You can pretty much find a Games Workshop store most likely nearby where you live. You're going to find different gaming groups who are going to be familiar with Warhammer and you're probably going to find it easier to get people into that hobby just because they're more familiar with the brand and everything it represents. With 3D printed models there are some incredibly, incredibly detailed game systems out there. Some that are massively growing in popularity as well. Things like One Page Rules which is miniature agnostic and they also do the whole range of their own miniatures as well. But they're not as well known and you might struggle to get people into it, so it's just worthwhile bearing in mind. Like I said, it depends more on your friendship group and the people around you and where you live and how popular wargaming is, but in my opinion, Games Workshop does unfortunately have that edge when it comes to the playability and the people to play with. Next is space, and this one is going to be really important to some people and less important to others depending on, I guess, the spare room that you've currently got. With Games Workshop, you probably just need your space for the miniatures that you might have assembled and painted, which is probably going to be very few if you're like me, or you're going to need space for those boxes of shame because you just haven't properly opened them or found the strength to assemble them. With 3D printing, it's obviously very different. You need more space. You need space, A, for the 3D printer, because it has to go somewhere. Probably if you then get a wash and cure machine, you can need some space for that. You're also gonna need some cleaning space as well. So you don't wanna just plonk it onto a desk and call it done, because if you have some kind of leakage or accident or chemical spillage, that might go onto your desk, ruin your desk and all of that jazz. So you're going to want some kind of slap mat down. There's loads of things that are going to take up space when it comes to your 3D printer. You've also then got the issue that you're probably going to need some kind of room that your 3D printer could go into that whilst it's printing, you're not going to be in because you don't want to be breathing in all of those fumes. Unless you've got some kind of really incredibly good filtration system, then you don't want to be in the same room as it. But then if you have some really good filtration system, that's probably taking up space as well. <laughs> So yeah, space is undoubtedly going to become a factor when it comes to considering should you be 3D printing or just buying your models direct from somewhere. The next one is choice. And with Games Workshop, you get what Games Workshop gives you. They give you a choice of models that you can buy. And I mean, to be fair, they're kind of announcing something new like every single day. But you've got that choice. But yeah, choice wise, you get what Games Workshop makes and offers out to its audience. With 3D printing, I mean, the world is kind of your oyster there. There's literally something for everybody. If you want to have some random horse people that ride around on humanoids, I'm pretty sure that probably exists. It's absolutely crazy. You want a new type of orc, but you don't like that orc and you don't like that orc. Well, hell, there's thousands of other types of orcs that you can choose. There's so much choice when it comes to 3D printing. It's not necessarily just down to the models themselves as well. If you want to play in a certain scale, so for example, I've recently done a few videos where I've been playing at 50 millimeter scale rather than like your 28 and 32. You can just throw them into the slicer and rescale your miniatures. If you want them just to be a little bit bigger, you can do that. If you want to have some kind of epic boss, you can then scale it up massively and print it out. So when it comes to choice and the customization options, 
The world is your oyster. You can just go absolutely crazy when it comes to 3D printing. So choice-wise, it's kind of unlimited. It's absolutely crazy. And the final one to consider is durability. Now, I've done a lot of experimenting when it comes to the durability of different resins. I've managed to get a pretty good thing going. So I use Elgoo ABS Lite resin. They're pretty flexible. They can survive some drops and knocks and stuff like that. But they do not compare to Games Workshop models or just anything that's been made in that traditional miniature format. I'm pretty confident that if I drop one of my Games Workshop miniatures, maybe a glued part will come off, but it won't snap or just cease to exist like some of my 3D prints. If I were to drop some of my 3D printed stuff onto a hard surface, I'm not overly confident that it won't snap or like turn into kind of little bits of dust. I mean, that's kind of a bit extreme. It's not gonna disintegrate that much, but they do break and it's worthwhile bearing in mind. They're not super duper fragile. You'll see some people talk about the fact that resin 3D prints will break really easily. You just need to like touch them and they snap into a million pieces. They're not like that. You can get some really, really robust resins, but it's not quite as durable as something like Games Workshop. And I guess this comes back into the space thing. If you're having to kind of bundle them all into a drawer and they're getting knocked about and you don't have that much room for storage, then maybe Games Workshop or something similar is going to be better for you. Because if you've got to bundle all of your 3D printed stuff into there, you're probably going to get some snappages and breakages. It also depends how heavy handed you are and how heavy handed your friends are as well. So, so many different factors there. But durability, unfortunately, goes to Games Workshop for that one. So in conclusion, which one should you do? Should you buy everything from Games Workshop or should you 3D print absolutely everything? And the answer is no. What? No, basically you can do both. You can do all sorts of different things. There are loads of different companies that produce physical miniatures, so you don't need to go with just Games Workshop. So there's a lot of choice out there already. But if you are in the market of it, and if you're just getting started in it, it's worthwhile buying something physical first. So whether or not that's from Games Workshop or another provider, and just seeing how you get on, because you're gonna need all the consumables like paint and stuff like that, which is very expensive. However, if you're already part way through that journey and you've already got some armies or some miniatures and stuff like that, and you want to expand that, you've got the space and all the other things we talked about, 3D printing is incredible. I absolutely love my 3D printer. There are things that drive me mad about it. There's some inconveniences of having it. There's some conveniences of having it. So it really depends on where you're at and on your circumstances. And hopefully some of those things I've covered will give you, I guess, a more honest idea as, you know, should you buy something that's already made and delivered to your doorstep, or should you get a 3D printer and explore those avenues? In my opinion, the best of both worlds, or all of the different worlds, if you're getting it from different people, then that's the way forwards. But if you absolutely must have just one or the other, well, it really comes down to your circumstances, so decide for yourself. So let me know in the comments below, have I missed anything there that you think should be covered off? What are some of the things that are holding you back from maybe getting a 3D printer? And which side of the fence do you sit on? Do you buy exclusively from Games Workshop? Are you exclusively a 3D printer? Do you mix and match them? Keep it civil as well, maybe one's entitled to their own opinion at the end of the day. And also, Throw in some other miniature makers down below that you think people should check out, or maybe I should check out, because I'd just be really interested to see what's out there. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, hit the like and subscribe button and come along for some more 3D printing content. Also, head on over to our Discord channel where we talk all things hobby, 3D printing and painting and all of that amazing stuff. And if you really want to support the channel, head on over to my Patreon, because it just helps me to keep making these sorts of videos. In the meantime, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye.